Uh, pleased to be here to represent Vericell and give you a corporate update on our activities. Uh, Vericell is a publicly traded company, so safe harbor provisions uh, are in place, and I'll be presenting some forward-looking uh, statements, so please refer to our SEC filings for further information. Uh, Vericell became a leader in advanced cell therapies through the purchase of the cell therapy regenerative medicine business from Sanofi Genzyme. Uh, that business gave us a advanced therapy platform of FDA approved products that are a combination device and biologic. It's the biologic activity of the cells that repair tissue and restore function. Uh, the three assets that we purchased were two commercial in the US. The first one was an early generation, Gen 1, Gen 2, of a cartilage repair uh, therapy called Cardicel, and a BLA-ready asset called Macy. The other product, the third, was Epicel, which uh, is, a again, a biologic uh, combination product approved for treatment of severe burn patients. Uh, we purchased these assets in 2015, and our early success was regulatory. Uh, for Epicel, uh, by mid-16, we were able to get a pediatric indication for Epicel, and in so doing, we've been able to invest in the Epicel commercially, and I'll share with you uh, the results of that. Uh, for uh, Macy, uh, it was a BLA ready program. We submitted that. We're able to gain uh, BLA uh, success at the end of 2016, and we launched Macy and replaced Cardicel uh, on the market in uh, the first half of 2017. Since then, uh, Vericell has become a top tier growth company in the med tech uh, area. When we purchased the business, the trailing 12-month revenues were declining at approximately $44 million. Uh, we just announced at our Q2 earnings that our trailing earnings were up 39% and up to $75 million. We got there mostly through uh, the, the launch of Macy. Uh, which we'll all talk a little bit more in detail, and also by the reinvestment in Epicel, we've expanded its use dramatically. Uh, these products, although we're very pleased with the, the momentum uh, that they've created for Vericell, uh, the markets they're in have a lot of potential. We believe that in a conservative assessment, we're treating one of every potential 12 target patients for Macy, and one of every six potential patients for Epicel. So there's plenty of room for growth. Uh, along with top line revenues, uh, we are also focused on our bottom line and we're able to leverage as we've expanded capacity and expanded uh, volumes. We've been able to utilize the capacity that we have in manufacturing. So for every incremental dollar, our gross uh, revenues are expanded 80%. Our COGS, we work diligently to, uh, with suppliers, et cetera, to drive down our COGS. And uh, we just announced, again, for at our Q2 earnings, that for the first half of 2018, our net gross our, uh, revenues, our, our, I'm sorry, our net gross uh, margins, were 58% compared to 47% for the uh, previous year. So you can see our, with the increase in volume, we're able to drive our bottom line as well. And because these products are fairly small, concentrated markets, and we are able to charge premium prices for these, uh, we also see about a 50% uh, uh, operation margin as well. Uh, and this is very important as we drive Vericell to, uh, even faster to, to uh, profitability. Uh, lastly, uh, in June of this year, we raised $75 million 
for strategic opportunities that brought our cash balance at the end of Q2 to 95 million, and we have a very strong shareholder base. So that's the summary of who Vericell is right now. I'll jump to a little bit uh, deeper dive discussion into our two therapeutics. Our first one is, uh, is Macy, which uh, treats uh, defects in articular cartilage. Articular cartilage, as you know, is the, is the highly specialized connective tissue at the end of long bones, it provides the smooth, uh, frictionless mo movement in your joints, uh, and also protects the bone from uh, the the compression of, say, walking and running and exercise. Uh, the, the cells that are responsible for the, the repair and production of, of cartilage is uh, chondrocytes. Um, and unfortunately, when there's damage to uh, cartilage, uh, it can't repair itself. There's no blood supply. There's no nerve uh, supply, very little lymphatic support. Um, and the mature chondrocytes don't replicate well. So Macy is a, a very elegant solution for that. Uh, it's a, the, the uh, device component is a porcine membrane that has a dense layer at the top, which is uh, exposed to the joint, and a very porous uh, membrane uh, uh, towards the bottom, and that is the part where you can see on the right here that we uh, put our cells. Uh, these autologous cells adhere to this membrane and it provides a very simplified uh, approach to surgery, which I'll describe in a moment. But Macy was the very first tissue engineered autologous cellularized scaffold product that was approved by the FDA. Again, uh, at the end of 2016 and launched in early 2017. So the Macy pr production, Production and administration is fairly straightforward. A uh, physician will do an arthroscopy to do an investigation of the damage that's done. During that time, they'll take a couple small tic-tacs of uh, samples that they will send to our lab in Cambridge. There, we'll uh, select out the chondrocytes, extract those, expand them. We also bring them back to a progenerative state, so they will multiply once they're put back in the patient. We cryopreserve those cells and then wait for the order from the patient and surgeon to be completed. When that, when that order is placed, uh, we can deliver Macy in just two weeks. Uh, we take the cells, uh, we uh, place them, load them onto the Macy membrane, which is basically about uh, 15 centimeter square membrane. Uh, we deliver that to the surgery site. Uh, the physician does a mini arthrotomy, so a fairly small opening, debrides the, the uh, injured area down to the bone without interrupting the bone, cuts a template of, uh, to the uh, membrane, and then glues it in place. Cardicel, as compared Compared to this, it was a similar process of taking a biopsy and, and get, getting the chondrocytes, uh, but we delivered Cardicel in vials, and the cells had to be injected behind a membrane that was sewn on. Uh, typically, Cardicel had to be delivered in a full arthrotomy, so the patient trauma was greater, and uh, the procedure took about 45 minutes to an hour where Macy implantation takes 15 minutes to 20 minutes, and again, less trauma to the patient. Once implanted, those cells migrate within hours to days off the, the membrane. They adhere to the bone uh, and proliferate, create extracellular matrix. Between three and six months, they fill that defect and they mature over time, and the patient can resume an active lifestyle. Uh, up in the right-hand corner, you see what it uh, Macy implant looks like. Uh, one of the big advantages of Macy uh, when we went to the FDA was a uh, very successful negotiation for an expanded label compared to uh, the uh, Gen 1 Cardicel. Specifically, Macy's indicated it as first line. Uh, cartilage defects of the knee, which include patella, regardless of size or location, 
and whether it's a single or multiple defect. And this can include uh, with or without bony involvement. Physicians are not only excited about Macy because of the ease of surgical implantation, the indications which allow them to choose a broader set of patients, but also this is the first uh, published clinical data, phase three data, that demonstrated clinical superiority over microfracture. Uh, this is two, at two years, a combined endpoint of Coos pain and function, and uh, really is uh, landmark data in, in cartilage repair. So this drove physician interest initially. Now that physicians have treated patients uh, in 2017, they're seeing how quickly patients rehab with Macy compared to Cardicil. Some of that is the original trauma, doing a mini arthrotomy instead of a full arthrotomy. Also, the cells seem to adhere more quickly. And you'll see here that the weight bearing, which is the first step in patient rehab, uh, this is again published data, patients uh, can get to full weight bearing between six and eight weeks with Macy compared to 11 weeks with Cardicel. So we're uh, really pleased because this ends up resulting in activity, so getting back to full activity at nine to 12 months uh, with, with Macy or back to uh, play or sport uh, versus Cardicel, which was beyond 12 months. Uh, in addition, uh, the summit trial, which was the pivotal trial, also showed very uh, high response rates, almost 88% response rates. So you can imagine the physicians who were treated patients in 2017 uh, are now seeing patients back who are satisfied and are responding really well to Macy. Uh, in my many years <laughs> in this industry, I have never had long-term data one year after launch, but because of the delay in submitting the BLA, uh, we, this data was published in the American uh, Journal of Sports Medicine in the first quarter, and our reps are now carrying five-year data, which show that the gains that were made at two years extend out to five years. It's excellent to have long-term support. So commercially, uh, We've had to expand to meet uh, demand. Uh, originally, we had 21 reps. We're now up to 40 supporting this effort. Uh, we've trained 700 physicians as of Q2. We expected to add a couple hundred more before the end of the year. We have excellent payer access to Macy, and this is a product with a price point of approximately $40,000. Uh, we have over 90% of covered lives. Uh, we've had to increase our case management group to, to do that as well because this is a medical benefit, so uh, it takes a, a bit of activity to do that. And typically, I have folks come up after a presentation as uh, your knee is hurting. Uh, I'd encourage you to go to Macy.com where you can hear uh, from our spokesperson uh, who is a five-time Olympian, 12-time medalist, uh, Dara Torres, who got uh, Macy, was one of the very first patients to get Macy. So in the last uh, few minutes I have, I'll share with you Epicel, very similar to Macy. It's a single cell type, keratinocytes. This is for patients who are extensively burned. Uh, very horrific stories. Uh, uh, what's unique about Epicel is that it does have a labeled survival benefit uh, it's very similar in process in that we take a biopsy from a patient from two small biopsies of postage stamp biopsies. We can create enough grafts for an entire patient body, TBSA, total body surface area, in about three weeks. That is then flown like an organ transplant to the patient. Uh, it's stapled on. Uh, to the patient and it's taken down about a week later to expose the new skin. As I shared, you can uh, that uh, Epicel has a survival benefit. This is demonstrated over uh, patients' uh, mortality without Epicel as TBSA climbs along uh, the, the bottom here. Uh, you can see that Epicel improves mortality dramatically. 
Um, we've been able to uh, invest in Epicel because of the pediatric indication, and when we took the, the, on this asset, it was used in 20 hospitals in 2014, and last year we've been able to expand that to 40 hospitals uh, through the investment and increasing uh, the support for the product. So uh, that is Vericell. So pleased to be able to present our success with you today. Thanks.